What is up, Waffle Gang? I do hope you are well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some r slash Am I the Butthole? with updates. <laughs> if you'd like to skip the initial waffle, timestamps are in the description and along the timeline below, so please feel free to use them. But a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here, for taking the time out of your day to be here is absolutely amazing. And before we go into the member update, I just wanna say, cause I've had a couple of comments about people messaging me, telling me that they can't currently become members and um, they've had to delete their memberships and things like that. Please, the last thing I ever want is for you to feel pressure to you know support this channel that's the last thing i want we're in very very difficult times right now in the world as a whole and i just want you to look after yourself that is what is most important to me but with that being said we did have some new members yesterday we had these vids with the rejoin we have devon roland new member and we also had ba guthrie with a rejoin as well and then over on patreon we had hygdr gdf <laughs> can't pronounce that at all who joined a couple of days ago and i totally miss it so i do apologize for that and we also had welshy thank you so much for your support and let's crack on with today's stories much love guys Now, as always, we're going to cover the first part of the story and then go to the update. So this one is from a throwaway account. Am I the arsehole for not wanting to hide that my mums are gay to my girlfriend's parents? I'm 17 and started going out with my girlfriend seven months ago. We were already chatting before school went online and I asked her out after. So her parents wants to meet mine when it's safe to do that and have dinner at their house. I'm cool with that and my mums are too. But girlfriend told me that her parents don't know I have two mums and she don't want them to because they are not raging homophobes, but they don't like that. She just says it will make them feel weird and uncomfortable and asked if only one of my mums could go. I don't know, I just don't see why I've got to lie. If we stayed together, obviously they will find out and also that would be mean to ask my mums if one of them not to go. I never been embarrassed about it or weird, so I don't see why it even matters. My girlfriend has been pissed at me ever since and she just tells me to do it so it's not uncomfortable for her parents. Even my friends are saying it's not a big deal and it's not like I get grounded for asking my mums to do this. I'm caught in the middle here because I don't want to lie about my mums or exclude one of them but everyone is acting like I'm being the arse for not doing this thing. And we'll start with a couple of comments and then move straight to the update. So KD Sexologist says, not the arsehole and I think you should consider whether this girl really values you if she wants to hide your family. She's concerned about how her parents would feel, but she doesn't seem to mind hurting yours. Your parents may not ground you for asking, but they are likely to be hurt. It doesn't sound like that's something you want. And Neralis replies to this saying, the fact that his friends told him to just go along with it because it's not like he'd get grounded made me furious. I know they are just teenagers, but even at that age, you should know that the reason you don't do something hurtful isn't because you'll get grounded, it's because someone will get hurt. What a bunch of self-absorbed assholes. And Chemical Parfait says, not the arsehole, my mum is gay and the second my partner asked if one of my mums could attend a dinner that would have been the end of the relationship. That's never ever going to be okay with me. She has shown you where she stands on this. If you can, talk to her, but honestly, it is unlikely to change in my experience. And now let's move over to the update to see what it says. So the update says, so we broke up yesterday since it had already been days of us not talking. I listened to your comments and decided to ask how she would feel if I told her only one of her parents could go because my mums are uncomfortable around heterosexual couples. She basically laughed and said it's not the same thing because that's a normal couple. That kind of got me and I asked what's not normal about my mums. I think that's when she saw she fucked up with what she said. She said she didn't mean it like that and just knows it would be awkward and weird because her parents don't like that. Then I asked her if she would feel like that too and she didn't say anything. We talked for a while and she still wasn't getting how this would hurt my mums, asking them to hide who they are. Then it got to where she admitted it would also be embarrassing for her parents would know I have two mums. And yeah, I wasn't going to take that and told her we're done. Not going to be with someone who's embarrassed about my mums or doesn't want others to know. That was it. My friends haven't said anything to me yet, but I think I'm just going to block them out because I don't want to deal with their shit right now. I know I said in my comments I was thinking about asking my mums for advice, but since we're broke up, I'm not going to tell them why. I only told my mums it wasn't working out with her, so we're done. They don't need to know why because I don't want them to feel this is their fault and they really like my girlfriend. This would hurt their feelings knowing she was feeling that way. It's not my first breakup, but it still really sucks and I'm feeling sad. It is what it is though. 
Thanks for everyone's help and telling me your own experiences. And it's incredibly sad that OP's having to go for a breakup, but at 17, how mature do they sound? Um, I mean, I think they did the right thing personally, in my opinion. How could you be with someone who thinks that way about your mum? Whatever, whatever this girlfriend thinks is not good in the end, is it? Let's face it. Saying that they're not a normal couple and all this kind of thing, it just doesn't sit right, does it? So I think they've done the absolute best thing. And I kind of wish OP would tell their parents what they did because I think they deserve to be supported the way that they're supporting their own parents in this. You know, they've gone through a breakup, so obviously they're having some negative feelings at the minute and their, their mums may be able to help them through this. So although there's a bit of a negative with a breakup going on in this, I think it's a positive and it's just highlighted a positive person here as well, which I think is fantastic. And let's move on to the next story. And our next story comes from Just A Girl. Am I the asshole for telling my cousin she's committing a sin? I try to keep this straight to the point, but I, 18 female, can answer any question you have. A year and a half ago, my cousin, 17 female and aunt, 50 plus, immigrated from Saudi Arabia. They have been living with my family and I in Canada ever since. It's been a real struggle for everyone to adjust. Because they are way more religious than me, they see themselves as more superior. I can't read or write Arabic properly, so they say, oh, poor OP, losing her faith and culture because she was born here. Or they comment on the fact that I can't read the Quran in the original language. Everything I do, they comment on. I watch a show, listen to music, dye my hair, wear skinny jeans, or anything remotely front in front of them, they give their opinion. Darling, this is haram. Sweetie, doing this is actually not permitted. OP, you can't do this unless you want to go to hell. My parents have told me to keep the peace and that they'll soon get their own place. Since the whole lockdown, my cousin has taken up a new hobby, painting. She's actually really talented and I'm surprised she's never painted before. I was watching anime in our shared room when she told me to turn it off. She said she can't concentrate listening to something haram while she painted. I told her that she's also committing a sin by painting a girl. In Islam, drawing or painting any living thing is a sin. This led to a whole fight and our parents got involved. Basically, they are telling me to apologize because her painting isn't harming anybody. My cousin has stopped talking to me because my aunt made her stop painting. This caused problems between my parents and aunt because they are telling my aunt it's fine if she paints. Now there's tension in our house and my parents are kind of pissed at me. Am I the arsehole for causing this fight? I admit I lost my temper, but after a year and a half of this, I couldn't take it anymore. Also, my cousin was really good at painting and it was a way for her to get creative. I feel really bad now that she's not allowed. ETA, not some Muslims getting triggered by this post. Don't send me hate. I'm a crybaby. And thanks for all your advice and comments. I really appreciate it. I'll have a talk with my parents tomorrow. Hopefully it goes well. Wow, I didn't know that, that, that Muslims are not allowed to paint living things. I didn't even realize that. And I, I watched a couple of YouTube videos after to just try and get some sort of, um, just to, to, see, to see why really. I couldn't find a true reason why, but th th I found out that like there was exceptions to the rule if it's to do with education, like a teacher was to do a drawing on a board or something like that for educational purposes. And apparently that's an exception. But if you was to like make a model and then sell it, it's totally haram. So it's quite fascinating actually. Also, don't quote me on the uh, the exception to the rule thing because I don't actually know, right? I'm just watching YouTube videos, trying to learn something here. <laughs> But I love gifts of GIF says, not the arsehole. If she's going to have a running commentary about how you're living, she better expect to be held to the same standard. I will tell your family that you agree not to comment on what they do. So as long as they keep their opinions to themselves. And the dog just walked in. You may have heard a little tapping away as she come towards me. Let's see if I can get her on the mic. I don't know if you're picking that up or not. Oh, she booped it. <laughs> Good girl. And SMH says, not the arsehole, religion is so bizarre, so like, you can't draw living things. And Brad Jane Trocky says, not the arsehole, what's the expression? Don't dish it if you can't take it, or something like that. Lol. An engineer lady says, not the arsehole, you watching anime slash dyeing your hair slash etc wasn't harming anyone either, but your aunt and cousin still found a reason to comment on it and shame you for it. I'm very much of the opinion that live and let live, as long as you're not endangering anyone else. And OK Yellow says, not the arsehole. They can call you out, but you can't say anything to them. Music, clothing, and hair colors are ways people get creative too. And they have an issue with the way you do. So sorry for it. You shouldn't have to apologize. So now we'll move on over to the update. So the update says, I just want to address a few questions that some people had. 
I agree that it's rude to have a loud show on when other people are in the room. However, I was in my room privately watching on a wall mounted TV. If she asked me to turn it off, I would have switched to my phone with earbuds, but it's the fact that she said it's haram and that just tipped me over. After I told her that her painting is a sin too, she threw her paint stuff against the wall. That's why our parents came into the room. Also, to the Muslims who keep saying that my aunt is not practicing true Islam, she literally could say the same about you. You are on Reddit, most likely in a country that doesn't practice Sharia law. However, you practice your religion is up to you, but it's not fair for you to say that when my aunt was born and raised in this religion. To those who think I made this post up to bash Muslims, I'm sorry you think that. It was never my intention to start a religious debate. If you think that drawing pictures of living things is not a sin, you can take it up with your local mosque, sheikh, whoever you follow. The morning after I made my first post, I asked my parents if I could have a conversation about what happened. My aunt insisted on staying, so I just decided to tell them how I felt since they arrived. I told them I don't appreciate how they made me feel. My life has literally changed from my actions to my appearance. They keep telling me it's time to wear the hijab, which I absolutely refuse to do. They also started making me pray five times a day. If I don't pray, my cousin will tattle. We've been sharing a room and it hasn't been the best experience. My parents were not strict religiously until my aunt came. She made my dad feel like he's not raising me properly, which is why he's trying to show my aunt otherwise. He told me that I need to start being more modest and show respect. I told him this is the hill I was willing to die on and I was not going to apologize. I am very fortunate to have her money saved up from my job. I told my parents I am moving out. My friend has been looking for a roommate and it was perfect timing. I'm currently staying with her and hopefully we're putting my name on the lease soon. My parents are understandably upset but I'm not coming back home until they take my side. My aunt is not in a rush to move out. I gave my cousin some cash to buy new paint supplies and told her whenever she wants to hang out, we can. Until then, I'm on my own. My friend has been very supportive and I'm lucky to have her. Again, thank you for everyone for your kind words. I hope everyone gets to live the life they deserve and have happiness every day. And now I'm gonna turn this one straight to you guys. What do you guys think of this update? Let me know in the comments below. And our next story comes from Donkey Impossible. Am I the arsehole for getting mad that my oldest son didn't let my youngest win a game? I have four kids, only two are relevant to the story. My 10 year old son we're called Jack and my eight year old son who we're called Tony. They were playing Mario Kart with each other on their 3DSs. My oldest son knows to let the youngest win, otherwise he'll throw a tantrum. The boys swapped DSs because Tony needed to be charged and Jack didn't really feel like moving from his spot. Like I said, Jack knows to let Tony win, but for some reason he didn't this time. Tony started his usual, I didn't win tantrum and threw Jack's 3DS across the room. The console broke. The top screen came off the bottom and the buttons are unresponsive. Well, they're gonna be if the, the console's in two pieces. <laughs> Jack was upset and that's why I got mad at him. He'd been told repeatedly to let Tony win to avoid a tantrum. My husband and my two girls, 16 and 17, are saying that I should make Tony give Jack his 3DS, but I think it's Jack's own fault for giving him his one and then not letting him come first place. Jack is refusing to share anything with Tony and has hardly spoken to me in days, so I'm left to deal with the constant tantrums on my own. Am I the arsehole? Mario Kart, man. That game's got a lot to answer for. That causes tantrums up and down the country. I'm sure of that. Run in first place for all three laps and then get hit by a blue shell, then a red shell, then a green shell, and then you end up in 10th. Bad memories, man. Yeah, but you're going to be the ass all the way through this. You're not teaching Tony anything in this situation at all. He's just learning that he's going to get his way all the way through life if he just throws a tantrum and you're enabling that behavior and punishing the other child for it. I mean, come on, man. You, you must see that you're the asshole in this situation. Come on. And as always, we'll cover a couple of comments and then move to the update. So we'll start with Sev's mama saying you're the asshole and a crappy parent. It's not Jack's responsibility to help you handle Tony's tantrums. You do not reward bad behavior. Tony throws tantrums to get his way and you just go along with it. He has you trained. Tony is old enough to understand that there are consequences to his actions. Having to give his brother his toy is a natural consequence of breaking his brother's toy. Get a grip before Tony grows into an entitled adult with no sense of accountability. 
and Striped Badger says you're the asshole, Jack is the victim in this situation. If Tony is having tantrums, it's because you're failing to enforce appropriate consequences to make him grow out of it. Jack is not an instigator. He shouldn't have to let his brother win all the time. He should be allowed to win as well. And if your fear was dealing with tantrums, then you must have been setting this expectation before Jack was eight, so you should know very well this isn't necessary. Jack is the one that should be receiving an apology and appropriate recompense, both from Tony and from you. An actual advice arsehole says, you're the arsehole times 1000. What kind of lesson are you giving your youngest here? He's long past old enough to know that in any competitive game, someone's gotta win and someone's gotta lose. You could have long since turned situations like this into teachable moments. Instead, you're deeply enabling Tony to be the spoiled shit that he is. And to make matters worse, you yelled at Jack for it. Your husband and daughters are spot on here. It's called consequences. Maybe if you taught Tony sooner that his actions have them, you wouldn't be in this situation. This is the kind of shit that if left unchecked, ends up with Jack going no contact with you at the first opportunity when he's an adult. And Tony in a failure to launch situation where he's still living with you when he's in his 40s. However, it's not too late. Reevaluate and change course. Edited to add, where is your husband in the whole act of parenting situation? He's not off the hook either. Parenting needs to be consistent across the board and not 100% on you. So now we'll move to the update. Hi, so it's been a few months since I posted that and I was mostly rightfully dragged for it. There's been enough breakthrough for an update, so here we go. As I mentioned in comments, Tony had unmedicated ADHD and after taking him to the doctor to start the medication process, we were told that it wasn't ADHD but most likely autism spectrum disorder. The doctor was in fact right, however Reddit was right. I was enabling his behavior. We, myself, my husband and Tony are all in a group and individual counseling now. And on to Jack. I did not make Tony give Jack his 3DS but Santa delivered Jack an early Christmas present, a brand new Nintendo Switch. Tony isn't allowed to touch it. There's much less tolerance for Tony's tantrums now and his behavior has improved massively. He doesn't get what he wants just because he'll have a tantrum. Now he understands that he'll be put in his room on his own and if he comes out before he's calmed down, he will not be acknowledged. Overall, a pretty positive update. Thank you all for all your advice and telling me I was in fact the asshole. Whilst it sounds like there is still work to be done in this sort of family dynamic and things, it sounds like it is moving in the right direction. So I still consider it a positive pose. There's, there's still some wording in there that's questionable, but at the same time, it's like, well, sometimes calling someone an asshole on the internet does create positive change. And that's what I love when I come to these. And, you know, rather than getting all butthurt about it and going, oh no, I'm not the asshole, blah, blah, blah. They try to make a positive change to their family. And sometimes you do see it and it's really great to see. And we'll cover a couple of comments on this one just to finish it off because why not, right? So Tiny Lolita says, family is a complicated matter. Everyone has different parenting skills, but I do see that OP loves their children. Some may think OP isn't doing enough to remedy the situation that got them to write the other post in the first place. I always see people in a more positive light when they fucked up, took advice and tried to better themselves instead of doubling down. It's much better than those labeled assholes still trying to defend their action in their updates. Small changes at a time. One big step forward can push you three steps back, putting you in the same position again, much easier and faster. And Rage Parrot says, wow, just read through the original post. It is amazing what can be accomplished when a bunch of strangers call someone an asshole. I'm glad everything worked out in the end here. And Charula says, good for you and your family, but I regret reading this and mostly the original and quotes, everyone in this house makes sacrifices to make Tony happy, not just Jack. They have to keep doing that until they move out. And then says, this comment made me sick. To which Peach replies to this saying, literally, it's been a few months. They've been having to do that for years. OP has improved, but they're still an arsehole and have a lot of work to do. They failed their entire family with the enabling of the youngest son, including him. And Frank Fourfinger says, did you have any sort of conversation with Jack to let him know you were wrong for enabling his brother's behavior? In the last post, it was pretty clear that Jack was used so that you didn't have to deal with Tony's tantrums and he probably felt really shitty about that. I truly hope that you're not just being a better parent to one kid, but a better parent to both. And OP did reply saying, yes, I've spoken to him and told him exactly what I did wrong and asked him what he wants me to do in order to make it up to him. And now I turn this one to you guys. What do you guys think of this situation and how would you have dealt with it? Let me know in the comments below. 
Now, once again, guys, thank you for being here today. I hope you did enjoy today's stories with updates. And as always, let me know if you do prefer a story with an update. Obviously, I can't cover it every time because not every story has an update, unfortunately. But I always do my best to, you know, include one every once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you so much for being here, for supporting the channel. And if you do want to support further, you can click that join button down below for YouTube or click the link in the description to join with Patreon. It is truly appreciated, but never any pressure to do so, as I said at the start. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Much love.